What's up guys, thank you for tuning in again. In this video I want to talk about a topic that has been on my awareness for quite a long time already, I have to say. But I have only been acting on it since a couple of days really. But I must say I have been really enjoying the benefits and I think you can too. And what I'm talking about here is making a damn schedule for yourself, guys. I mean, it sounds so simple, but as you get on the journey of self-improvement, I'm sure you noticed like you might be picking up like quite some new habits like meditation, maybe taking walks every morning now, um, gratefulness journaling, just to name a few things like they add up, you know, and what happened to me was I had all these intentions of doing all these great things but at the end of the day the problem was I would maybe do one or two of them but I didn't even get close to anything I, that I wanted to do for the day and for a while I think I just kind of tried to tell myself like ah tomorrow is going to be different tomorrow I will pay closer attention I think the reality is that it doesn't work like that. You know, you have to you have to have something to to look at, to direct you like what are you supposed to be doing at this at this moment right now? And what really helped with that for me is making that schedule for myself. Even if you look at the successful people around you, then I mean, I just looked up Elon Musk meticulously schedules his day out like from what I could read, he doesn't have a minute of free time. Like everything has a purpose in his day. And even if that purpose is to wind down, to relax, that still is a purpose and you still need to make time for it. But I think if you would look at really successful people, then having a schedule is really normal. Like if you want to be like a successful person, do you want to emulate someone you look up to then? I think a really good bet is that they have a schedule for themselves. They, they know what they're supposed to be doing for that day. They know what boxes to take off. And I'm sure there are exceptions, but I mean, let's not think that we are all special in some way. You know, I think a lot of us just could really benefit from this and just give it a go. Like you don't have any, anything to lose. If you're a younger person like myself, then if you look around your, your like your friend circle, if you look at your, your maybe your family even, like, who has a schedule? Did you ever hear someone say like, ah, no, I can't go then because then I scheduled uh, my daily walk or scheduled my meditation session? Like, no, it never happened. I think it's very rare. I mean, let me know in the comments if you experience otherwise. But if you want to chase that excellence day in, day out, then I think a schedule is going to be one of your fundamental tools in, in, in making that happen. And at the same time, I think you will get a lot of respect from the people around you for having a schedule. Like it just, it just indicates that you value your time. You know, it, it indicates that you have a, have a goal for yourself. You know what you want to do with your day. You're not just aimlessly walking around and, and just hoping for the best. Like I think it sends a very clear signal to people around you. And I just want you to keep that in mind. So of course, how are you going to structure your schedule. I mean, you have countless of apps on the Play Store, the, the App Store, whatever. But personally, like I tried a couple of them and I'm sure they all work, but for me, just the process of having to set them up to tailor them to my schedule, like it was such a hassle, you know, like it just took so much time and you have to figure out the interface and of course, the, the, there are tutorials to, to show you how it's done, but personally, like, I just gave up on them, you know, and and recently, I think I saw on Hamza's channel, like, he just had a really clear structure. Just a timetable with, in the first column, the time, and on the second column, the activity. And I will show you on the screen my schedule, how it looks like. And in addition to that, I did make two versions. I made a version for myself on days where I don't have to basically go to my university course when I'm at home and I just have like the day for myself. I don't have to be anywhere necessarily. I made a schedule for this situation 
And I made a schedule for the days I have to be at the location of my university course. And they, these are the two main variations that I need to take into account for my life. But maybe it's different for you and you have to personalize it for yourself. But just take a look at the example I showed on the screen and maybe it's helpful for you as well. Or maybe you even like one of those apps. Maybe like whatever, like it doesn't matter, whatever works for you, you know. And if you want advice on how to tailor a specific situation to your needs, like if you want my advice, just leave a comment. I'm reading every comment, so just leave a message down below, it's no problem. So the clear benefits I encountered thus far is that even though I didn't stick to my planning for like 100%, it was still way and way closer than when I didn't have a schedule for myself. And I think that's all that matters, you know, like, of course we all want to be perfect, but I mean, there's just gonna be occurrences during the day that you couldn't anticipate. So it's okay, you know, like get 50% of your schedule right. Like that's probably even way better than what you would get without a schedule in the first place. And just try to do your best as close as possible every day like to stick to it as close as possible and if you didn't don't make it 100% it's okay don't beat yourself up over it try to do it better the next day but the fact that you make the effort to follow a schedule is already gonna put you way ahead of other people I am 100% sure of it one little bonus tip I would like to give is to minimize distractions especially when you're working on something important you know like a project of yours or you're creating something please don't do what I have done a long time and that is keeping the television on in the background I stopped doing that and the difference it made was crazy now I can see that when I had the television on in the background like subconsciously I would be distracted like almost every minute and it would make me so much less efficient in what I was doing and as soon as something popped my interest on the television like I would just be looking at the screen like oh what's going on blah 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 and it just takes you out of the, the, the flow, the momentum of, of what you're doing. And what I do now is, I'm sure you know those, those lo-fi beats, like if that's your thing. I like to put them on in the background now, like the background stays the same, the, the, the music is repetitive, doesn't have any lyrics. And for your scheduled working hours, I would really j just recommend to keep those distractions to a minimum. So guys, that's everything I wanted to mention in this video. Please leave a comment down below if you need any help, any questions you might have. And I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.